Hey, Eric Sider here, and I'm coming to you from the best chicken composting system on the planet, the Chicken Tractor on steroids. Big shout out to Jeff Lawton for designing this amazing continuous engine of fertility that will keep your garden highly productive, highly nutritious, and food secure forever. And here, this is the urban system. So this one, stationary system. So if you're short on space and short on birds, then this is the system you want to check out. All you need is a minimum of 170 square feet or 16 square meters, about 8 to 12 birds, and a cubic meter of material. <clears throat> so the tried and true recipe is one-third chicken bedding, one-third food scraps, green plants and weeds, and then one-third large animal manure. Now obviously in the U.S. It's less common to have access to large animal manure in urban and suburban settings. So for my version, I've omitted the large animal manure and I'm just running with the chicken bedding and food scraps and weeds and green plants. Now, I've done a whole 18 day compost with just food scraps and straw. So it's definitely possible and you're definitely gonna get a good supercharged compost at the end. You can check that whole playlist out so the basic procedure from start to finish on the urban system, it's going to be two months till you get your first compost pile. So you're going to be filling up the cage for the first month. And then that material comes out here and gets turned once a week for the second month. And then once you're up and running, you should be pumping out a cubic meter of compost every month. So all week long, you're going to be adding the uh, plants and food scraps. And then once a week, you add the bedding under the chicken coop or roost and then once that's full that comes out here start turning it once a week and then you're off and running again and uh, if you're in a drier climate i recommend uh, watering the pile a few times a week because if it dries out it's going to be slower to break down basically the more work you want to do the faster you're going to get a finished pile so if you want to turn it multiple times a week, you certainly can do that, or you can let the chickens do what they do best, scratch and eat weed seeds. And that's another uh, benefit to this system. You wanna move all your bulk material through the system and the chickens are gonna get all those weed seeds and break those pest cycles for you. So one of the best things about this system is its flexibility. It's highly adaptable to different situations, number of chickens, how much you wanna interact with it, basically, if you want a faster, more refined product, you're gonna be doing more work. If you want a rougher, slower process, let the chickens do their thing. At, in the end, it's all gonna be amazing for your garden. Now, I uh, just completed my first pile, so I have a whole playlist from start to finish. Definitely check that out. And uh, as always, the best permaculture shirts on the planet. The link is below, as well as all these uh, components to the urban system if you wanna get a similar setup for yourself. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.